yeah, like with the drone, he flies it over. And oh, yeah. You've yeah. had a drone up, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Under 250 grams? Might be. Flyer ID? Uh, you don't need them. You do think you still have to have your flyer? Uh, you have to have your flyer. Hold on, let me just. Incorrect. Check. Again, I like how you've looked it up before you've arrived, that's a start. Yeah. So you're saying you don't have to have a flyer ID to fly a drone? No, you don't need to have a flyer ID to drop fly a 249 gram drone, no. So welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here in Coventry taking a look at Canley Police Station. So we're joined today by News Now Yorkshire, who's just down there getting his drone out so let's have a little look around see what we can find army reserve center as well down there look located next to a busy roundabout got a fire station across the road training tower there quite a modern training tower but it's got quite a small car park at the front and so far, I've not seen any police vehicles on this one. So where are they hiding them? There is a back gate there. I've just seen a black car go in the back gate. So we'll take a quick look at that. And see what we can see. So here we are at the back gate. Oh, it's still closed in. That's why the Ford Cougar there has waited. Solar panel. What are you being used for? Comes down here and disappears. Oh, this panel is powering the Environment Agency Flood Warning Service, Henry Parks Road. Flood Warning Service. That's the mission at the minute. Find out what this is powering. So the cable runs across here all the way over and it goes down into that corner and then where it disappears into the bush and it goes round here into a little stream but I can't see nothing obvious I bet when it gets to a certain height, I bet somewhere on there, there's like a sensor that senses when the water level gets to a certain height. It then sends an alert to somebody else. And obviously it needs power. And the way they've decided to power it today is using the solar panel. So there's your detective. Uh, <laughs> always have to fight, get to the bottom of something, don't we? Oh, we've got the police going by there a lot. Wow, skidding round the corner. And they're going back up. They're in a rush for something, aren't they? So yeah, anyway, back to the police station compound. Can't see many marked vehicles in there. Little canopy, one hiding in the back. Authorised M2 police vehicles only. So yeah, quite boring from this angle. So he's got the right idea. Taking the drone up. Nothing can hide from the drone, can it? As we know. So just while News Now Yorkshire takes this drone up, I'll have another look around the front. Because on Google, there are no opening hours listed for this one. But as we know, when you click suggest and edit, it can let you put them on. And having them on does help the local community. So it is something that I like to do. But the question is, does this have a front desk that is open to the public? Because most of them don't nowadays, do they? And it looks like this is another one of those where the front desk lot is closed. We're finding this more and more often that our police stations are closed and we have to ring 101 or submit the report online which you lose that personal touch don't you sometimes you just want quick advice and it's not necessary to go down the 
make an official complaint route. Just some uh, reassurance from somebody who knows the law is sometimes all that the member of the public wants. And by closing these front desks, we just lose the, uh, the approachability of the police. You lose that personal touch, you lose that accessibility, and it just becomes a, a novel hurdle that's unnecessary. But is it a cost-saving exercise? You know, these civilians that they pay to man the front desks, it's another wage that they have not got to pay. So a quick lot around the car park. There are no illegal number plates, I can confirm that. But the only, the only interesting thing that I can find is this Coventry Community Responders.com Ambulance. Not very often you see one of those, but it's not related to the police, is it? But that's also interesting how the window up there, it's permanently open with a vent that you normally see for tumble dryers. But I would have thought in this occasion it's to do with uh, ventilation of the offices up there. I can't think of any other reason, but look, there's now Yorkshire's up there with the drone, look. I wonder if he's looking at me. <laughs> it's strange seeing a, a drone up in the air without me controlling it. I wonder if we'll uh, get a chance to do a, a dual a drone audit. <laughs> and then I can find News Now Yorkshire's drone in the sky. Let's check to see if they've got enough grit in the grit bin. Oh yeah, look at that, overflowing. And it's got a scoop. We often see them without the scoop. So how do you get the grit out when you need it? No public access gate opening outwards oh well we finally see a marked police car this one is police dogs so with the dog car there one would assume that the kennel is nearby as well and there is a bit of a cage in there but I can't hear no dogs well, what else is there to see around here we've got some suspicious windows there is that the cells Maybe. I wonder how many people do this nowadays, crime stoppers. You may have a reward. A key safe there. I wonder what's inside that. Not very often you see key safes at police stations. And that's looking a bit worse for wear, isn't it? This property is protected by anti-climb paint. So don't be climbing up there else your fingers will be black and another one of them vents up there surely that's to do with circulating the air you know in the height of covid when people were still working in these uh, offices surely it was a requirement to circulate the air as much as possible because uh, having a mask on when talking on the phone <laughs> is not possible is it so they had to think of other measures to help so I think we've seen all we can from the outside and it's time to get David up and news now Yorkshire's battery surely dying sometime soon or will we overlap will we see news now Yorkshire's drone when we take ours up let's see so we've checked on drone assist we're not in a flight restriction zone, as shown on the screen just there. So this is the spot. Nothing above us. No trees, no overhead cables. So let's get David out from right just here.
quite a few interesting things that we spotted there using David there's a chair on the flat roof now somebody must have uh, opened the window and sat on the roof at some point well that's not very health and safety uh, aware is it you know what if they fell what if the roof isn't strong enough for people to just walk up there willy-nilly what are those suspicious wires doing coming out of that window like that well that's not very professionally um, installed is it whatever electric uh, equipment that is a bit worrying you know to a member of the public seeing uh, wires like that coming out of windows at a police station has the police station been uh, tampered with you know there's questions to be answered there who did that who's responsible and then there's the shobby wiring that we've seen on the roof that lead from just next to that aircon unit just there you know why why is that there what purpose is that serving is that something dodgy as well you know with police stations everything has to be done correctly else it's going to raise questions about 
What's that for? That doesn't look very secure, does it? The door looks like it's just been ripped off. I mean, I hope there's nothing um, that's important in there that could be compromising the security of the police station that we all pay for. It's got a junction box. Yeah. Something in there. Got something important on in there. It's got a door for a reason, and it has got a lock. So the fact that that is not locked, you know, it's not good enough, really. Okay. What can we do for you? I know you're going to be a YouTube blogger. Test auditing. You already know. I watch YouTube, same as everyone else. Who do you watch? I don't know the name, just flick through. Whatever scrolls up. Whatever's recommended. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. There's a lad with a drone who flies it over. Oh, yeah. You've got a flick drone up, haven't you? Yeah. Under 250 grams? Might be. Flyer ID? You don't need them. Do you think you still have to have your uh, you have to have your flyer? Hold on, let me just Incorrect. Check. Try again off. I like how you've looked it up before you've arrived, that's a start. Yeah. So you're saying Try you don't again. have to have a flyer ID to fly a drone? No, you don't need to have a flyer ID to drop fly a two four nine gram drone. No, that is not correct. Yeah, I think I I've got a drone that's under two fifty. Yeah. So you don't have to reg you don't have to do your five year thing. You can help me with this because you've clearly known. Would you there. would you like me to help you? Please. Right, so you need to have an operator ID. Yes. You don't need to have a flyer ID. Right. So and, yeah. and which one do you pay for? Um, the flyer ID is free. Yes. The other one is £9. Right, okay. What's the difference? The operator ID um, is the person who is responsible for operating the drone. Yeah. The flyer ID is the person is the pilot. Yes. But with a 249 gram, you don't need a, don't a flyer need ID if it is your own drone. If you're flying someone else's, you would need one. Oh, okay. Thank you for the other. Yeah. Yeah. Always yeah. so happy to educate. And I'm happy to listen. Sometimes you guys try and identify the flyer from the operator ID, which has to be displayed on the drone, yes. but that doesn't have to be the flyer. The operator yeah. ID could be my mum, yeah. who brought it me, who's responsible, yeah. but then I'm the flyer, I don't need a flyer ID. So okay. there's still no way of you well, in the, identifying. In that circumstance, you would need one if it was your mum's drone, she would have the operator ID, you would need a flyer, flyer ID. ID. Yeah, but you don't have to give that. No, I believe um, your flyer no, well, ID is not find. required. I was trying to find uh, if you had to hand it over on request, and I couldn't find any. You I do know. if you have reasonable suspicion of an offence. Okay, but flying a 250 or less than 250 isn't so. Yeah, but you have to be, you have to have reasonable suspicion of the uh, of the offence and be able to articulate that as well. Yeah. It's new stuff. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Loads of bobby stone. Yeah. No. I mean, even your drone police are 100 percent correct all the no, time. Because they're they're flying the flying big stuff. Yeah, so they're not used so they're to. So they've all got the smaller licenses stuff. and all that sort of yeah. stuff. Uh, and, and it's so it's so intricate, and so um, so involved in depth. Yeah, and you even know, if you look at the drone code, that's, that's not the everything. Basics, and it's not everything. And then you've got CAP 722, 724. Yeah. You know, there's all sorts of different yeah. um, different things you yeah. have to look into. The uh, air navigation orders and the unmanned yeah, thing yeah. that came out last year. So out of interest, and again you can educate me, is there anywhere in Coventry that's got the, uh, the non-flying airspace? I presume uh, in the airport. Yeah, the airport. We've Absolutely. just actually been to Urban Airport to speak to your West Midlands Police drone guys. So that's oh, the Urban Airport, the one in the yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. New and that is actually yeah. in an FRZ, a flight restriction zone. Is it? Yeah, yeah. So you can't take your drone up, else we would have done it. And is that shown up on your map when you've got yeah. there, is it? Yeah. Oh, Our drones will not even let us fly into it. No. What have you got? The DJI? Yeah. Or have you? So here we are. See, I have spar to a DJI. This is, this is us in the dot. Oh, you, you've landed that well then, haven't you? Or as in, you've stopped well. Well, actually, you can, you can so fly. That, I take it that's Birmingham Airport then. You can fly there because it's only a CRT. Uh, CTR, sorry. Yeah. So that's um, for bigger drones and aircraft. So you can still do your 249s. So we can do the 249 there. But that's um, that's restricted there because it's an airport. So you've got flight restrictions on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you've only got half the centre as well. Is that on a special app? Yeah, it's on. It's called Drone Assist. It's free, so it's a good tool to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely a good tool to have. But yeah, we've, you, you know, you've got to get educated on the things in the first place, haven't you? Yeah. No point pulling out an app and go do this and go and work out. Yeah, and you have to understand the different. Um, Sort of levels of the airspace as well because like different restrictions although that's uh, C ctr's red and yeah. you know if you if you didn't know you would think, think you'd outside there yeah, yeah. but that's not necessarily true because all of london is red yeah. um, but you can fly in london oh, okay. oh, yeah. have you encountered drone flyers before then no. yourself 
That's why I can rant on the chat. So, so I've got a little sort of cheap one and that I buy in the field and stuff. And as I say, I've read it and I've got, and I can't remember which one I've got, whether it's the fly ID or the other one. Um, I've actually got both, just because um, yeah, I have. it's just easier to do yeah. both. Have you got the, bigger drones as well as the smaller ones? Not yet, ones. not yet. Yeah. But the, are, uh, the flyer ID is free, so you might as well do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've definitely got that. Yeah, it's, it's, like I say, it's, the police is always catching up with legislation rather than going, gents, this is what, or gents, ladies, this is what's going to be coming in. Yeah. Familiar well, we all have to it. learn it all at the same time, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, there are many police that have taken a heavy-handed approach upon oh, arrival. No, I've seen the video, I've seen the yeah. video. Yeah. So it's refreshing yeah, yeah. to see that, uh, yeah. although you've never encountered it before, you've done a little bit of research. Did you get a call about us? It was, it was over the radio that was looking out and you put the drone up and you were filming and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and again, it's the whole the auditor thing that a lot of bobbies don't, you can't film this, you can't film that. And again, it's down to the education. Yeah. So, you know, Charlene won't uh, thank you for this, but, you know, both have got a bit of service and we're a little bit older and maybe a little bit wiser and having chatted with people you know that's when yeah definitely are you i don't know you're probably not going to answer this anyway you plan to stay here you're going to move on to different police stations we was just about finished to be honest but Except this is one of the quiet ones so you're not going to get much action here well yeah. i'm hoping to see somebody sit on the flat roof on the plastic chair Oh, is there a plastic chair up there? So yeah. they their own little yeah. deck. So little what, deck someone will have a bit of health and safety nightmare after that now. <laughs> it's there for a reason, yeah, to sit down. Is, yeah. And I'm also waiting to see what the, you know, the, the suspicious wires that are running out of the open window along the roof to somewhere. Members of the public would sometimes maybe think that's a little bit suspicious. Yeah. I reckon it's probably cheap electrical work. But there we go. Is it, that? I, I don't work at this police station, so. Where are you uh, guys best? Will and all. Will and all. So, Chase Avenue? Chase Avenue, yeah, I've seen that one, yeah. Yeah, we'll stick the postcode in in a minute. <laughs> yeah, I might see you there. Can we, can we get a lift? No, yeah. we can't do that. We definitely cannot take you there, drop you off, and then you start filming. I know, that, I know the first thing that happened. Why have you done that? But if you do go there, we'll probably bump into you when we're going home. Yeah. Have you ever seen the uh, Flynn Blue line with a poppy on? That's different, isn't it? Yeah. Not, with, not with a poppy this on. This one was sold by, have you heard of COPS, the charity? Care of Police Survivors? Right. Uh, it's different. So it was a charity badge, obviously, for the poppy pill. I think they shared the proceeds. And it goes, it's a benevolent fund for um, families of police officers and died. Well, as much as I don't like the thin blue line badge, that one looks a lot better than the others, I've yeah. seen. I mean, I, I probably should take it off after November, but again, I, this one I like. Yeah. Well, they've put a Velcro uh, square there for a reason, I've, haven't they? I've added that. Oh, did you? Ah, oh, you don't admit that on camera. No, no, it's really <laughs> fine. I'm sure. I'm sure Mr. Thompson needs signs. Is uh, he the chief? Yeah. Right. See, my understanding is um, we've added things that are on the uniform. It's it's up to each individual force uh, chief yes. constable yeah. and to sort of allow them or not. It's uniform policy. And like yeah. That. yeah. Um, we'll have a basic uniform policy, and then there's little bits that you can sort of add and take away. Can I just ask one thing about yeah. the the, um, the things at the top? I know what is. So, uh, so I uh, your other guys down at the drone airport have them on as well. Yeah. So, so they're they're, re they're medal ribbons. I've gone through enamel so they don't get dirty. Yeah. So they each represent a, a medal that okay, I've uh, allowed to wear. Excuse me a minute, I'm just going to take this. Not sure. It's a personal course, you won't want to No, no, it's a work call. I've got to share some data, that's all. I don't really want it's to. It's good that you're protecting the data. Yeah. You don't want it on YouTube then. Yeah. <laughs> so so um, I was in the army before, so I had some medals from there, and then I've got the Jubilee medals, and obviously the new one has just come out that uh, can be worn from the 3rd of June. Okay. The, um, uh, Platinum Jubilee. Go and get a bit of a better look. Yeah, I noticed the, um, a couple of the guys down down the drone airport, they had them on. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was something to do with West Midlands Police. No, no, I've never seen them anywhere else I can remember. Uh, I think they're becoming more popular because obviously there's been three Jubilee medals over the last 30 years. Yeah. The third one having come out now. So obviously officers that have had five years, five years service, so it's not just police, it's ambulance, fire, prison service, PCSOs, five years service, for the qualifying day you, you get the medal. So, yeah, it goes back to me being old and wiser. Where did you where did you serve if you don't want to ask you? Uh, I well you'd be able to tell from the medals anyway if you checked on them. So the first one is General Service Medal from Northern Ireland. I was in Northern Ireland. Then I did two tours in Bosnia, former Republic of Yugoslavia. And then I got out and well, thank, well, you, thank for you for your service. service. Yeah. Definitely.
definitely. Some people don't like to talk about it. You could research it, which I'm sure you would, and, and you find out. So. I was down at the SAS base the other day. Oh, at Hereford? Yeah, down at Hereford. Uh, I so bet they loved you there, didn't they? Um, uh, there were some people, not, not the police, the, um, the police guys were, well, one of them wasn't, wasn't so keen, but um, there was a really, uh, really nice guy, PC Davis, a Welsh guy, yeah. and um, he was really nice to talk to, he gives a lot of information, and uh, you know, helps us out a little bit where we could and couldn't go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I suppose as an MOD base, they are proper, you can't film or photograph. Only on, only on the base. Only on the base. Yeah, so the, it's actually protected um, yeah. by a, I can't remember off the top of my head. Secrets? Yeah, yeah. the Secrets Act, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, so you, you can't you can't film on the base. Okay. Uh, Which is reasonable, I think. I think so, yeah. But you could put a drone up outside the uh, yeah. outside the base, or you could film outside the fence. That's yeah. not an issue. So is that from the airspace above it as well? The restriction. Well, there, there, there's, well there's, a, there's a military restriction, and yeah. there's also a restriction for RAF Hereford uh, um, so that's where because it's an it. airport. But where we were stood on the gate that we were stood, where the cemetery is, yeah. that's not. So you can just go straight up from the path. I didn't because. Uh, mm they've got guns and stuff and I wasn't <laughs> <laughs> quite keen on that yeah. we would always check the restriction before we take no, off no. you know because we don't want to self incriminate us no you I think but this app this drone assist it's really easy because you just look it shows you exactly the way you mm -hmm. are shows the restrictions within a three mile radius on your um, report yeah. and you know it tells you everything you can and can't do do you know one last question do you know the CV on your vehicles yeah. we see quite a lot of uh, new stuff that we've never saw before from above yeah. they've all got a CV on but then an individual number. That's just so on the roof there will be a, a vehicle number so the helicopter can see the vehicle. Yep. So CV is Coventry. Yep. So in West Midlands we're all split into areas. So CV would be Coventry, WS Walsall, and then you've got BE which will be Birmingham East, Birmingham West, Birmingham Central. So it's, it's like old divisions, that's how it's split up. And then each vehicle has got its own number. Right. So if the helicopter was up, and it's looking down, it could go vehicle with roof marking, Charlie yeah. or whatever. And well, does the. Sorry, go on. What I've seen before is um, like a force number. So, like um, West Mercia, for instance, is 22. Yes. And then they would have like a car number. Yeah, but, so, we've still got. So, that. you've got CV for your, yeah. for your um, sort of I, area. As a, obviously, West Midlands being the second largest force, we've probably got more vehicles in West Mercia. Yeah, split so it down. Got to split it down. That makes sense. So, would the vehicle number on the top then also be the key number? Now you're talking. What's the number on it? 04. Yeah. Right, well that makes sense then. Yeah, that's yeah. brilliant. Well, we've learned something new, so thank you. Yeah, it's been quite pleasant. It's education for all. Right. That's what we're here for. You guys happy? Yeah, yeah. No yeah. We'll it's been a pleasure. Thank you, much. thank you. I might see you down at the station. <laughs> Do you remember which one it was? No. Willen. <laughs> what was it? Willen Summit. <laughs> Willen all, thank you. So there you go, guys. Every interaction is different. You know, it's all down to them. When they arrive, how are they going to behave? And that was absolutely brilliant. Who could ask for a better interaction than that? That has just restored some faith in Willanall <laughs> Police Station. Not necessarily Canley, because they didn't come out. You know, yeah, they didn't come out. They didn't um, abuse our right to film in public, but they did log a call, quite rightly so, just to ascertain what we're doing outside. Do we pose a threat? But yeah, I'm very impressed with that, to be honest. Very impressed. They even took the chance en route to the incident to look up some legislation and give themselves a little bit of knowledge about what could they possibly doing, be doing that's wrong. Yeah, he asked, have you got a flyer ID? But really, he meant operator ID, didn't he? So I'm going to leave this one here. Canley Police Station, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> And uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed that video, give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>